Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of another episode of DGA Live. I am your host, Dominic Arena, hanging out with Miss Chris once again. Hey. Yeah, yeah. We are going to do uh, talk about something um, kind of like a childhood thing, kind of growing up in the 80s. We were talking about 80s movies. And what I had uh, Crystal do is we both made a list, top 10, 80 movies, 80s movies. And I told her, don't show me, I'm not going to show you mine, and we're going to discuss it on the channel. The only rule was, um, no, no horror. We're going to save horror for a, a whole nother topic. So, you know, like your Friday the 13th, right. um, Nightmare Before Elm Streets, all that good <clears> stuff. <throat> Those are all 80s freaking great movies. But that had to be out of the list, and um, we said no Star Wars, because I believe Empire Strikes Back was 80. In Return of the Jedi, I think was eighty four. So those are classics. That's a topic on its own. The Star Wars and the the Star Treks and all that shit. So movies growing up that you adored <laughs> and that means something to you. We're gonna, we're gonna discuss it too. So I'm gonna let you go first. Give me your number. Give me your number ten. Okay. So before and, well, I well, hold on before we go. And if you name a movie that's on my list, I'll tell you. I'll tell you where it was. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so I have ahead. to say, this was the hardest thing to do. There are so many great 80s movies. Um, Amen to that. I, I, the top 10 doesn't even cut it. I feel like there are things that I missed that right. I left off. That Same here. That, like, my heart sank. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know where to fit this in. Right, so right. And there were so many I thought hard. of afterwards. Mm -hmm. When I was like, oh, that's such a great movie, but, you know, I kind of had my list already set. So, and there was one movie, I'm just going to say it now, because for some reason I thought it was the 80s, was the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. With the, I think Corey Feldman was the voice of Donatello. Mm -hmm. It actually came out in 1990. Well. And I was like, oh, uh, shit. Well, I did the same thing. I was going to put Grease on mine, but that was 77. I mm. had no idea. Right. So, okay. Uh, um, number 10. Let me hear it. <clears throat> All right. So my number, you want my number one or number 10? Your number 10. Oh, my number 10. Okay. Yeah. Number 10. And the reason why I chose this is I watched this so many times. I actually just made your son watch this with me. Okay. Um, it's something that brings me back to my childhood. And, it, and I know you didn't watch it. What is it? Overboard. I, I did see it. I watched, the origin it. I watched we, it with you. You watched the original was it, one Kurt, with me. Kurt Russell? Kurt Russell. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's really top 10. Top 10, uh, but I used to watch that all the time. I know they just did they did a remake of it or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was okay. It was good um, with Anna Ferris, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. I, I, I can't don't remember. remember. I remember Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell was the in the yeah. original one. So Overboard came out in 87. That, to me, I watched it every time it was on the TV. It was like right. that one that... It means a little bit to me in my heart. <laughs> my number 10 um, is from 1982, and I had a huge crush on this chick. And I think that's why it sticks out to me, is Fast Times at Ridgemont High, because, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Phoebe, Phoebe Cates. Cates. Oh, my God. <laughs> we just watched that, too. And we, that was yeah. that's one I didn't put on my list. Um, and the only reason why is... I don't really think I really watched that growing up. I didn't really get into that until I, my adult years. Right. I got, I think the first time I saw it was in the 80s, but I was too young to understand some of the jokes. And then re-watching it as a teenager in the 90s, you, it, you, you see it you all appreciate that, you it more, yeah, right? right. And, but I had such a crush growing up on Phoebe Cates. She's a beautiful woman. Give me number nine. Okay, number nine is, and, and I'm really sad this one isn't even up further in my list, but Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! Is that <laughs> on my list? Is it? Is it? Uh, no, I did put Ghostbusters down as an honorable mention. It okay. did make my, I fucking love Ghostbusters. That's one I grew um, up on as well. Anything fucking Bill Murray. Oh, God, yes. Bill Seriously. Murray's God. He's, you know yeah. I mean? he's, that, that scene where he walks in the, in the, the apartment and he, he's tapping on the piano. Yes. He's like, the they, ghost, they hate they this. They hate this. They hate this. I <laughs> fucking love that. I love that. All right my, right. my number nine is, again, Phoebe Cates. And I'm surprised I didn't give it away right here. 
Oh, fucking yep. Gremlins. So let me gremlins. just say, I had that one on my list, but I kind of looked at it as a horror movie. In it's a sense. Uh, now nah, I wouldn't classify it as horror. It was a uh, 1984. Some people actually categorize it as a goddamn Christmas movie because it takes place on Christmas. Sure. Okay, I could. Um, I, I would consider that it was Steven Stu- uh, Steven Spielberg, and uh, he was just an icon in the 80s, no matter what. The Poltergeist, I would say, is a horror movie. Sure, with Steven right, Spielberg. Okay. But uh, Gremlins is kind of that thriller comedy. Yeah, you know what I'm I understand. I didn't want to ask you because it, yeah. it was top secret yeah. our list. I don't so I didn't want to. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Number Dang eight. it! I was gonna put that one on there. Um, number eight. Dirty Dancing. D- oh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, I totally forgot that was '80s. Come on, that's, nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> that's what, uh, who was it? Was it Swayze? Yep. It was Patrick Swayze. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that one to me is an iconic 80 movie. My number eight is actually, a, it's a tie for the original one and the sequel. And I put Back to the Future 1 and 2. Okay. Three, um, I don't like three. Three was the Wild West one. Yep. And I could give a rat's ass about it. But one and two, to me, go back and back. Um... Because I don't know if you remember how... That's a movie that's... If it's on TV, like regular like TVS you or something, you, you gotta watch it. it. Right, absolutely. You gotta watch it. Right. But yeah, just remember how that movie ended was... Uh, Marty! <laughs> we gotta do something about your kids! Yep. Fucking the... Uh, <laughs> and they're flying away in the DeLorean. Um, I wanted a DeLorean so bad. And even in the 90s, I wanted a DeLorean. Yeah. So that I put that as kind of a tie because one and two are just... It's a back-to-back <sighs> film. So that one is on my uh, honor, honorable mentions. I didn't know where to fit it in. Oh, it's so hard. I sh- we should really have like a top 100. Top I could 100. probably fill yeah. it. Give me, uh, what's your number seven? All right. Goonies. Goonies. Um, I love it. I didn't make my top 10, but I did put it down as an honorable mention. Uh, what year was that? 85. Okay. Yeah, 85 was such a good year for movies. Um, that was Back to the Future. There's also. a lot of yes. Back yeah. to the Future was '85. Yep. Um, yeah, Goonies iconic. There has been talk of remaking it or rebooting it. I don't know if that's if that's it would be interesting. was that Spielberg. You I think know, it was. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. We'll have to look that up. Um, I don't remember who did that. My number seven is a movie. My mother. My mother worked in a video store back in the '80s. It was called Video Express, and this is a movie she brought home for me. And she's like, Dom, check this out. Um, 1987, The Lost Boys. I, okay. So the again, I didn't put that on my list. I looked at it as a horror movie. It's vampires. Yeah, but I don't consider, to me, but horror. But that's one that I was right. like, dang it. And I, I will, knew you would put it on your list. Honorable mentions. I'm going to do an honorable mention. Is okay, the good. Evil Dead series. Oh, great series. And Army of Darkness. Yes. I do classify that as horror. They're bloody. Even though they're comical. And they're not really scary. They're very comical. Right. Um, especially Army of Darkness. Mm-hmm. I do classify those as horror because of the blood level and the, and okay. the gore. But Lost Boys, to me, was more of a teenage movie of the 80s. Yeah. You had the yeah. Frog Brothers. Yeah. Um, Keith or Sutherland is... Uh, what the hell is his name in that? I know that uh, the other boy was Michael. But um, who else was in that? Uh, the Haim, uh, Haim, Corey Haim. Haim. I knew it was one of the the yeah, Corys. Uh, yeah, well, both Corys were in it. Okay, Corey Feldman, Feldman and Feldman Haim. Feldman was a frog brother, and okay. then Haim was kind of like the little brother. Awesome okay. freaking movie. Uh, what do you got for six? <laughs> this one, I absolutely love this movie. My sister hates it, and she never watches it. Hint, they play it for 24 hours right before Christmas. It's a Wonderful Life? Uh, Christmas Story. Oh, Christmas Story. Hell Come yeah. Come on, how you forget about yeah, that you're one? Yeah, take somebody. It's Fragile. <laughs> it's Fragile. The fucking leg lamp. That, yeah. yeah, you're going to get your, Must be your Italian. tongue stuck to the pole. Yeah, that's um, a good one. I didn't even think of Christmas movies. I didn't even think of that. The, uh, I, just, because, I uh, absolutely love it. Was it uh, Christmas Vacation? 80s? Yep, sure the, was. The um, All right, so my, what were we on, six? Six. Very near and dear movie to me, again, 1985. The fucking Breakfast Club. I have that as an honorable mention on my yeah, as well. The Breakfast Heck Club. Heck yeah. I actually had the chance to visit that school back in the 90s. And I forgot the name of the school. But I think, if I remember correctly, the name of the school is the name of the street it's on in the movie. Okay. And I could be wrong about that. So if you guys remember the name of the actual school 
that Breakfast Club. Let me know in the comments because I totally forgot. But I had a, I had a chance to visit that school. Nice. It's pretty cool. It's That's just awesome. Fucking uh, Emilio Estevez was a god. They were part of the Brat Pack. Right. In the eighties, so they right. were all over the place. Um, five. Honey, I Shrank the Kids. Oh, good one. I saw that in the theater. <laughs> that one to I me. Saw Every that time in the it theater. was on the TV, and yes, they made the one. It was. Was it Honey, I Blew Up the Kids? Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one yeah. either, but the Honey, I Shrank the Kids was... Where they're stuck in the backyard, they ride the ant. Yeah, the, down um, the blades of grass. The big-ass and... Cheerio. Yep. Because all that shit was made for that movie. They didn't have the, the CGI they had nowadays. Uh-huh. So they actually had like a big-ass Cheerio they could sit in. And um, and I believe Universal Studios back then had a, a uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids like... Set you could go oh, visit. Oh, right. Yep. I believe you know, so. Yeah. The, uh, you're right. I never got to do that. That was cool. Um, my number five is a movie that actually influenced me to skateboard. And I introduced it to you for the first time this year. Is Riding, Gle- Gleaming, Gleaming the Cube. The cube. <laughs> Love that fucking movie. Uh, my it's buddy, actually a really good movie. <laughs> my buddy Nick Barbato is the one that introduced it to me in the 80s. It's uh, Christian Slater. And this is a movie that doesn't get any credit. A lot of people don't know about this movie. But if you get a chance, check it out. Gleaning the Cube with Christian Slater. Um, there's a little backstory behind it. Like his brother dies. He's trying to, trying find, to find, find the murderer. Who, yeah, kill him. It's but actually it's a, a really good movie. movie. Yeah. And Tony Hawk's in it. He's like 12. <laughs> and uh, he's the pizza dude. <laughs> yep, he is the pizza he's dude. He's the pizza dude. All right. Top four. Number okay. four. So this one I meant to look up prior to us starting this to make sure that this wasn't the first one. This is the one I said that I wasn't sure if it was the first one, but Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was in the 80s. Was it? Okay, yeah. great. Classic. So, yeah. Love Indiana Jones. The first one was... Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark? No, I think it was Temple of Doom. Okay. I don't know. You got not, me confused. Yeah, I'm not sure now. Maybe it is Raiders. Shit, that's another one. There's the one up. that I looked up was Raiders of the Lost Ark, and that was 81. 80, 81? Holy cow. So that's what made me think that if that's not the first one, maybe there was one that actually came out in the 70s. No, there was no... It wasn't 70s. Okay, so... Yeah, because he was doing Star Wars, and he did Star Wars in 77. Okay, okay. And he got with... Uh, um, the thing with Indiana Jones is it was a tag team with Spielberg and Lucas. They kind of tag team that movie to be that, able to. Yeah, film and it's both Harrison of them. Ford's favorite role. It's that's it, his all-time favorite role. Is Indiana Jones? Is Indiana Jones? Yeah, I love uh, it. My number four is 1987, and I don't go a day without quoting this movie. I know what it is. What do you think it is? Spaceballs. It's Spaceballs. <laughs> Spaceballs the movie. That's right. Good. Awesome. We haven't got any on the On the same. Wow. That one is on my honorable mention. And the only reason why it didn't make my top 10 is because, again, that wasn't one I grew up on. I didn't see when I was younger. Yeah. I didn't get to really watch it until I was older. So oh, I didn't God. put it in my top 10. Love that. I'm not a big fan of spoof movies. It's so great. But we they just- nailed it. We just made his son watch it. Yeah, my, my son's not into the old stuff. He's like, oh, this is so old. But um, 90s is old for him. We He, <laughs> he watched that and he got a kick out of it. Because yeah. he, he can relate to the characters. Mm-hmm. He, Joan Rivers, his freaking dot matrix, <laughs> right. C-3PO. Yeah. You had John Candy. There's a ton of great John oh, Candy movies. Awesome, I didn't yes. even think of John Candy. Um, yeah, Rick, uh, Rick Moranis again is uh, Lord Helmet. Um... The fucking alien that pops out of the dude's chest and then does a little dance number on the table. Like, hello, my baby. Hello. That is iconic to me. Mm-hmm. I love that. Such a great one. All right. Now we're in top three. Um, Did you? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Top three. Top three. What's your third? You quote this one all the time. Go ahead. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. And I'm going to tell you what. Be- Beetlejuice is my number one. Is it your number one? It's my uh. number one. Well, when I name my number one, you're 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 gonna Beetle be like, Beetlejuice oh, okay. is my number one, and uh, it has a special place in my heart because my dad took a that was 1988. Mm-hmm. My dad took me and my brother to go see that in the drive-in back in Chicago, and we snuck Frankie and we had this big ass conversion van. <laughs> Did you put him in the trunk? Well, no, it was a conversion. Oh, it's a van. conversion van. So okay, he's yeah. hiding in the back, like where the bed is. You know what I'm saying? And we're like, yeah, yeah, sneak. We're going to sneak him in. And we get in. We didn't, he didn't have to pay because he was too little. <laughs> so we snuck him in for little For no anything. reason. And it was a double feature that night. So it was uh, Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. 
And then the second film was Batteries Not Included. Oh, that's such a great movie. You remember I, that movie? Yes, and I almost put yeah. that one on my honorable mention too. Fuck but yeah. so that's this my list would have been a million years long. That's my number one. My number three is, it's not even a good movie. But it's iconic to me. Because, again, when my mother worked in the video store mm-hmm. in the 80s, she brought this whole series home for me. Series. And the mm-hmm. one that stuck out, and I made her watch it, was okay. Ernest Goes to Camp. <laughs> yes. 1987. Not good I love Ernest Goes to Camp. Scared stupid. Goes to jail's okay. The Christmas one he did was garbage. Um, there was just a ton of... Ern- <laughs> All right, little joke. is one of our <laughs> worst, worst... Fucking Ernest movies is called Slam Dunk Ernest, mm-hmm. where he plays basketball. And for some reason, I got it on a DVD because I was collecting Ernest shit. Me and my sister rewrap that every year and give, and it, give it to each other <laughs> for Christmas. And then she, I give it back to her and she gives it back. This has been going on for over a decade with that fucking movie. Do we even know who has it? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through my shit, but I'm pretty I sure I really she's got think it. Tara has it right now. I think, so yeah. Tara? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't get it for Christmas. You but didn't horrible get it. fuck. Yeah. Ernest goes to camp though. Oh my god, with the fire. Yeah, we ants. just watched that the other night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, number two. Okay, so this one you mentioned it earlier. Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. There you go. And I forgot about Christmas movies, and I'm glad you put that on there because that's another one that when it's on TV. You stop and you stop and, and watch it. Yes. Even if it's not Christmas. Right. You know? Right. It's just, such Ross! a great movie. Ross! And he's always right there. <laughs> right. I fuck it. Yeah. That's great. I mean, I really enjoy a lot of the National Lampoons movies. Yeah, they're all, Even yeah. the one that go to Vegas or whatever. That was right. a good one. Yeah, Vegas is good, yeah. But th- that Christmas vacation is just where he kidnaps his boss. What was the box. first one? Was it just called Vacation? Uh, National no, Lampoons sure. Vacation? I forgot. Or I'm European sure. European Vacation? I'm not sure if that was before this one or after. There is a European vacation, but yeah. I don't know if it's... But for yeah. some reason, I Christmas thought it was Christmas vacation is the, the Oh, best. it's the shit. It's yeah. It's the best. Um, my number two is... Pretty much sums up my childhood. I must have watched this a thousand times when I was, goddamn like six or eight. Yep. Um, never Ending Story. That is a great movie. And I love that Never one, Ending Story. The, again, didn't make my list, but... I still should've. get a little teary eye when... Uh, Atreyu dies. Yeah, right. Atreyu. Atreyu. The uh, but Falcor, the the oh everything about the Rock Eater, um, it was so the fantasy was pretty big in the eighties. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple honorable mentions that go along with this that didn't make my top ten is the Labyrinth. Labyrinth, okay. And um, Dark Crystal. Yeah, I love those. That were, was Jim Henson. Yeah. Actually, was Labyrinth Jim Henson too? Could have been. He might have had something to do Could've with been. it. But, uh, no, never-ending story. And I love the fact, um, watching Stranger Things, they actually kind of tap into that and they start singing the song. I was like, hell yeah. That was, yeah. That was my jam. Is that why Logan had been humming it this whole weekend? Because of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't seen it. But uh, I think I have, like, five copies of that movie because it kept popping up on, like, double featurettes. Yeah. So I got it on DVD, got it on Blu-ray. Oh, here, it's on this double featurette. Right. It's on this. Right. I can't get rid of that movie. Um, you already know my number one. What was your number two? That was my National Lampoon. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What's your number one? <laughs> Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid? That was 80s? 89. Holy shit. But to me, I'm such a huge Disney. That's a good one. Yeah, anyone that knows me, I collect all of the Disney movies and I've kind of slacked off lately, but I do have a ton of Disney movies, as you know. Right. Um, yeah. Little Mermaid to me is that one that I watched over and over growing up. Who didn't want to be Ariel? Come on. <laughs> the um, <laughs> now I told you Beetlejuice was my number one, mm-hmm. but because to me it's very '80s iconic. But if I had to like pick a top ten all-time favorite movie, oh, Scarface was in there. Oh right, that's and a that great was one. that was eighty. That's a great movie. God, what was that? That was I wrote it down too. Eighty-three. Um, I didn't include it in the top 10 because it just, when you think of Scarface, you don't think of 80s movies. Right. You know what I mean? 80s were just Mm -hmm. so like kind of, you know, that cheesy, you know, cheesiness. Well, one uh, that we didn't mention either. What about E.T.? That was 82. E.T.'s iconic. I know. But to me, yeah, I know. E.T.'s awesome. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's not one of those movies I I, uh, draw back to all the time. And that's why it didn't make my top Um, 10. Couple honorable mentions is uh, 1989 Batman. Oh, okay, I didn't okay. even think about Batman. Right. My mm-hmm. favorite Batmobile to this day is that one, the right? Tim Burton mm-hmm. one. 
um, The Outsiders. Okay. That eighty three that had everybody in it. it had Patrick Swayze, um, Tom Cruise, Ralph Macchio, uh, Matt Matt uh, Matt Dillon. I can the, tell you, um, but it's such a great movie. I think yeah, Matt Dillon was in it. The uh, there was a ton of people in it. Rob Lowe was in it. Uh, it's a greaser movie. Mm-hmm. Fucking love that. And another one that I quote almost daily is Princess Bride. That's such a great one. Princess Bride. It didn't make my list again because it wasn't one that I watched as a kid. Inconceivable! Fucking, yeah. Um, Some of my honorable mentions was Big. Come on, Tom Hanks? Oh, fuck. That's such a great one. I love Big. That's an iconic 80s movie. Right, Um, right. I don't know if you ever saw this. I've never heard you talk about it, but Raising Arizona. I don't think I've seen that. Such a great movie. You've never seen Raising Arizona. I've heard of it. (laughs) You would ask me that. I should have probably done my research, but... If I have it, we should I've, watch I've, it. I've it's... heard of it, but it's not ringing a bell. Yeah, were they still the baby? No. Oh, it's so no, good. No. Such a good movie. No. Um. Um. Original Terminator. Okay. Oh, good. Good movies. Yeah. Yep. I also put RoboCop. Mm-hmm. I mean, because when I when I, I saw RoboCop when it first came out, eighty seven, and I was young, and I remember whole, I was blown away by the blood. I was like, this is the goriest shit I've <laughs> ever seen. I don't know if I've ever seen RoboCop, or I, maybe I have. It's just been so long, I couldn't really tell you anything yeah, about it. Yeah, for 80s action movie, I could not believe how gory it was. And, uh, you know, like, the generations now are so desensitized. They'd be like, yeah, this is whatever. Right. But uh, back then, I remember, holy shit. And then um, a movie I've actually been hunting for, because I watched it as a kid a lot, is Rad. Yeah. The BMX movie. Mm-hmm. That was 86. Um, and then I also put as an honorable Roger Rabbit. I do have, okay, so I was going to bring that up. I have Roger Rabbit on Roger here as Rabbit. well because that, that was, that was awesome. It was super awesome and a movie mix. Yeah. And, and it was, yeah, yep. it was, uh, it was done well because I remember the first cartoon movie I've ever saw, like cartoon with live action mm-hmm. was, uh, was it Pete's Dragon? I think it was called. It was a Disney movie. Yes, Peach Dragon. And the the fucking dragon yep. was cartoon, but mm-hmm. that, I wasn't blown away by it like Roger Rabbit. Roger right. Rabbit was awesome. You right. had Mickey was in it at the end. Yep. Um, I think Bugs was in it. The um, I believe so. Baby Herman was fucking great. Yep. Um, Benny the Cab. The, um, uh, yeah, awesome film. What awesome about film. Land Before Time? Land Before Time. Is it the dinosaurs? Yes. Ah, what? Fuck that movie. That was such a no, cute movie. That's the only one I don't give. Tara loved that movie. Milo Notice. Ta- Milo Come Notice. on, the, the cat and the dog that go on the nah, adventure. You can fucking keep that too. <laughs> I don't. Nah, you fucking keep that. What those. about Top Gun? Top Gun. Yes, and the re- uh, they there's a trailer. You can find it on mm-hmm. YouTube. Top Gun is coming back with Tom Cruise, and I don't know if it's a reboot or like a sequel, but uh, I'm excited about that. Yep. And uh, I want to wrap this up because we're going to hit There's that. There's two real quick that you forgot. Really big ones. Go for it. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Great one. And then Karate Kid. Karate Kid was good. The, and then um, I had Aliens on here, but I didn't know if that was a horror movie. I, I, Aliens was in my head. Because I, I have all of to them. To me, love. that's sci-fi horror. Yeah, that's sci-fi that's why horror. I was at the bottom. The, um, <laughs> and the original Aliens was in the 70s. Oh, okay. Alien was in the 70s. Um, okay. Aliens... I think it was when it started hitting the eighties. So yeah, that's seventies. But uh, yeah, that to me is actually it's a that, that's sci-fi horror. Yeah. The um, it, it, there's nothing not... comical about it, right? Sure. Right. Like Beetlejuice yeah. has got the comedy. Right. And the Gremlins does too. But uh, rock and roll, man. That's gonna do it. We're, we're coming to that point where the video is getting too long. But um, <laughs> let me know your guys. Uh, if if we missed a movie that you just like, hey man, I love this movie. You guys didn't mention it. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me hear what your guys' favorites are. Um, I'm sure there's a lot out there that we missed. This I could we could have made this. Oh yeah, super long. This could have went on ridiculous. forever. Yeah. But uh, we, you know, and then we'll do a horror one because I'm a you know I'm a horror buff. We're gonna wait till October to do the horror stuff. But um, yeah, hit me up on Twitter, Goat fifty one fifty, Instagram Arena fifty one fifty, and I will have uh, Crystal's links in there, um, in the descriptions below. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. So peace and hair grease. Bye.